What is up guys, my name's Dan and today I'm going to cover how you can make your very own Minecraft bucket server. Why do you want to get a bucket server over a normal Minecraft server? It's quite simple, on bucket you can get plugins. All these and many many more will ensure that you can have a completely customizable server. So, first thing you want to do is visit bucket.org, all these links will be in the description for you to simply click on and visit. So, what you want to do when you're on bucket.org is click on get craft bucket right here. So. What we're going to do is follow these simple, simple steps, and what does the first step tell us to do? We need the latest recommended build, but because it's a recommended build, it's 1.6.4, that's pretty badly outdated, so we're going to cancel that, and we're going to head over to this page right over here. This, again, will be linked in the description. It's basically all the development builds to download. So, we're going to ignore the 1.7.8 builds for now, but we're going to go get the latest 1.7.5, because that's pretty stable right now. So we're going to click the green arrow, download it, keep the file, and uh, what you want to do is make a folder somewhere called Minecraft Server, you can actually name it anything you want, it doesn't matter. Just put a folder somewhere that you'll remember, and what you want to do is, once this is downloaded, all you want to do is pretty simply drag it into the folder, and move on to the next step. So, next step, we've done step 2 there, so we want to open a text editor such as Notepad, so let's do that right now, new file, text document, I suggest you just name this run or run server, there you go, double click it, open it, now it doesn't put copy all of this right here, copy it, paste it, make sure the pause is on the second line, and this is again really really important, you need to make sure that this name right here, craft bucket, ignore the jar at the end, just the craft bucket is the same as this right here, so we're just going to rename this craft bucket, just like it is in a text document. What this XMX here is the, uh, basically what it is, it's the amount of RAM, so right now it's running up 1 gig of RAM. Now I don't recommend running it up 1 gig, so we're just going to remember that number there. We're going to open my calculator. This is the simplest way you can do it, is to just put in that number and times it by the amount of RAM you want. So we're going to run some 3 gigs of RAM. So there you go. 3072, we're just going to put it in there. And now we don't save it, you don't save it, you go to save as. And what you want to do on save as, is you go to all files, run server, and then you put, or whatever you want to name it, is you put dot .bat, dot .bat is really important, before that it doesn't matter, just the dot .bat is really, really important. So, and then we're going to click save, close this now, and what that did is create a batch file, which will basically, when you double click it, it'll run this, we don't need this anymore. If you want to change anything, you can just right click the batch file, click on edit, and it'll allow you to edit everything. So, that's all you need for a bucket server, it really is that simple. So, what do you do to run the server? It's quite easy, you double click the thing you named run server, there you go. Now, this will basically, the first time you launch, it'll take a little bit longer, because it's what it's going to do, it's going to create all your server files, all your config files, all the things it needs, including generating the world for people to play on. Level 0, normal Minecraft world, level 1, never, level 2 is the end. So, we're just going to click stop, once that's done, you'll see at the bottom here, done, we're going to type in stop, enter, that saves everything. I do this, always, it will make the server run a little bit better the second time you launch it, because it won't have all the stress on it anymore. So yeah, that's all you have to do. Your server's now done, if you ever want to start your server, yeah, double click that, start your server, give to people you want to connect your IP, just make sure that you've port forwarded it, I'm not going to cover port forwarding, simply because there are so many tutorials out there covering port forwarding. And you can just look those up really easily. So there you are. done. If you want to stop your server, just click. Oops, just put in. Stop. Saves the world. Everything people have built on it. That's it. I'm going to put a second video out for you guys showing you how to config everything. So if you want to do anything fancy with your server, you can look at that video. I'll show you everything you will need to do if you config things. And apart from that, that's all there is to it. Make sure you like the video if this has helped you make a server. If you have any questions, you can put it in the comments. I'll get back to you and see if I can help you with it. And if you want, you can also even subscribe. Only if you want to. I do recommend it though. Because if you subscribe, you'll get all the latest news tutorials on what you can do with your bucket servers, normal micro server, even other things. Like, let me know in the comments if you want tutorials on anything else. If there's enough demand, I'll make sure I deliver. So, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching, and have fun with your new server.